Hi, and welcome to lesson 11 on quantized electromagnetic radiation. This is our first lesson where we move away from treating light as an electromagnetic wave using classical Maxwell's equations, and we will develop quantum formalism to describe radiation. So let's see what awaits us in the next three lessons. We begin treating light using geometric optics in the previous module, where light is considered to be a ray traveling in straight lines. And this allowed us to talk about phenomena like refraction, reflection, absorption, and we applied it to discuss uh, uh, fibers and how to transport light across long distances. In this module so far, we have advanced our description of light to using Maxwell's equations. In other words, we applied wave optics, where light was an electromagnetic wave, and then we applied it to talk about phenomena such as superposition and polarization. And in particular, we saw how light behaves in different ways when it interacts with optical media, such as dielectrics or metals. Now, in the remaining five lessons in this module, we're going to treat light using quantum mechanics. And this will allow us to see a new phenomena that are not predicted by um, classical Maxwell's equations. So in this first lesson, we're going to talk about how do we even describe light using quantum mechanics. So this first lesson will be a little bit formal, but the next two lessons will be a lot more applied and we will get a lot of practice applying the formalism that we develop in this lesson. So we're going to begin lesson 11 with discussing canonical quantization. This is a general procedure that allows us to start from a classical system and quantize it. We will uh, make precise exactly what this means. Then we will apply this procedure of canonical quantization to an example of a simple harmonic oscillator. This is a ubiquitous system that appears everywhere in classical mechanics as well as quantum mechanics as we will see. We will solve the problem and then immediately apply it to quantized electromagnetic radiation. And that's because a single mode of quantum radiation can be treated as a simple harmonic oscillator. In the next lesson, as I said, we will apply our formalism of quantum mechanics to describe light and we will begin with observables and number states. Number states are very important states in quantum optics, and they give rise, natural rise to uh, the idea of photons. And this will lead us to discussion of single photons, the messengers of quantum communication. All of quantum networking, quantum communication relies on single photons or phenomena that can be observed with single photons. And in particular, we will be interested in photo detection. We will give you the general rules how to apply the uh, uh, formalism of quantum mechanics and compute the probability of detecting your photons with perfect as well as imperfect um, detectors. And then we will finally conclude lesson 12 with photo detection with single photons, where we will see our first example where classical description of light and quantum description of light diverge in terms of the predictions that they make. In lesson 13, we're going to apply what we have learned to quantum beam splitters. Beam splitters are very basic, a ubiquitous way of manipulating quantum light. We will develop formalism how to describe them and immediately apply to photo detection with beam splitters, and in particular the hong u mandel effect, an extremely important effect in quantum optics and quantum communication. And we will conclude uh, uh, lesson 13 by discussing interference of a single photon using the Mach Zender interfer interferometer. So let's begin. See you in the next step.